Hi everyone. A, sphere, a spherical balloon is inflated with gas at a rate of 800 uh, cubic centimeters per minute. That just means that the derivative uh, derivative of the volume of the sphere with respect to time equals 800 um, cubic centimeters per minute. So what we want to do is find how fast the radius of the balloon is increasing. At the instant, the radius is 30 centimeters. That's one problem. And then at 60 centimeters, that's the second problem. So the first thing I'm going to do is write down um, the volume of a sphere, which is 4 thirds pi uh, r cubed. And so I have the derivative of the volume with respect to t, I just bring the 3 down, so uh, that's going to be 4 pi r squared with derivative of r with respect to time. Now, what we're trying to find is the derivative of r, so basically what I'm going to do is uh, cross multiply here and I get the derivative of r with respect to time equals uh, 1 over 4 pi r squared times the derivative of the volume with respect to time, which we already know that this part's going to equal 800. So all I have to do now is plug in 30 for r and then plug in 60 for r. Okay, so let's do that. So we've got um, uh, when r is 30, we have derivative of r with respect to time equals uh, 1 over 4 pi times 30 squared. And the numerator is going to be 800, basically. Or I can just write it like that. And that's going to be 2 over 9 pi, after you reduce it, centimeters per minute. Radius is one dimensional. Okay, and then also when r is 60, you do the same thing. So derivative of r with respect to time, this should have been a t, equals 1 over 4 pi uh, times 60 squared times 800 over 1, and that's going to give you 1 over 18 pi centimeters per minute. Now, as far as the explanation, um, let's see, what do we have to do? No, we don't have to explain anything. So, that's all. Thank you, and have a nice day. Bye-bye.